Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today we're going to be looking at the cupcake gable box from Simply Made Crafts and it's super easy to put together. So I absolutely love gable boxes. So I think this is like the third, I think, gable box that we have here um, from the Simply Made Crafts collection. So this one is a square shaped one. Whoops, this is a square shaped one. So I have one in here, I have a cake I'm going to just tip that up slightly so you can see because I don't want to tip the cake over but as you can see there is a cupcake muffin in there and you get the die in there to also make that little stand to keep it from um, tipping about but obviously don't tip it upside down or on its side because it will come out unless you want to put a little bit of um, like a, a glue dot underneath to keep the muffin in place. Okay, so I've added windows, but optionally you don't have to do that. You can just have this without the windows, decorate the front, pop in loads of Easter eggs. There are so many different things that you can do with this box. So let's have a quick look at the die set. So here it is. This is the Cupcake Gable Box die set from Simply Made Crafts and I just love the fact that I now have a little square version to go with the longer version that I have. Okay, so I've put mine onto a magnetic sheet and I've mounted it onto some white cardstock there just to help keep it nice and sturdy. So this is the stand and this is um, the front and the back, the sides basically, and you get all of these um, shaped dies here. So you only get one shaped die there for the top section there and then you have the square dies and they will fit in either side because it is a square box. We have a selection here of circles depending on what you want to put in there. Um, if you need larger circles you can just easily delve into a, a nesting die set or if you have any other die sets with circles in you can just fish those out if you need to go any larger. Cupcakes they're all different so just do your best there. There will be a circle available to you somewhere. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that. I'm not going to put it away because I might need to use it. But I have done some die cutting already. So you are going to be needing a large format die cutting machine for this. And I have one here prepped already. I just need to stick the acetate window onto there. So I am going to need these two squares here from the windows. I'm going to be using the smaller one in a moment so I'm going to be popping that on there and I've also cut out that funny square thing and um, I do need to fish out a larger circle than the ones in there for the muffins that I have bought and this is quite invisible here unless it shines two acetate pieces let's give you some measurements these measure three and one eighth by three and one eighth and that is what is going to create our windows okay i think i might put easter eggs in this one i do have some so maybe i'll make an easter version but i will show you how to how to do this as well just in case you want to okay so let's get all of these score lines folded again if you want to you can use a bone folder and the papers they're from the great night in 12 by 12 paper pack here it is a nice big bundle of papers there and I go into closer details of those papers in the launch video, which will be on my channel. Okay, so do all of your score lines first before you cut your window out. It's just gonna be so much easier for you to um, get these folded that way. You'll know what I mean if you don't do that. Okay, I'm gonna switch over now to my a4 machine and I'm going to pop this on and I'm going to have to use some tape just to keep that in place so I'm going to be having my window on along this handle line here and again I'm using the smallest of the two squares and again I'm just going to put the tape the majority of my tape because this is new tape it's already taken some layers of other papers off so I'm going to put the majority of my tape on this side here because this is what we're going to be removing. So I do actually have to turn this over. This is lifting up a little bit so I'm just going to turn that over and pop that on and that is what um, has been keeping my plate straight. Okay let's run that through. 
So I'm using the Go Power and Embosses. I've been using it a good couple of weeks now and I'm really happy with the way that it's turning out. My big plates are staying flat, so I absolutely love this machine. I think that should pop out now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll probably speed this up just so that it's not a super long video because we want to get onto the decorating and stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my acetate. I'm going to add glue all the way around, stick them in behind, and then I'm going to assemble this together with some glue. It will be sped up, but you will be able to kind of see step by step what um, what I'm doing. Okay, so now we have that. So I'm just going to grab my cupcake or my muffin. I think I might use these ones. Okay, these ones are pretty hard to get out. I don't want to stick my fingers in any of the icing. There we go. And um, I do need to do a larger circle, so it literally just needs a larger circle for that one. If I had smaller cakes, that would be fine. You could probably even get two, two of the smaller cakes in there. Okay, I'm just folding those down first and I'm just gonna grab myself another circle die. Okay, so I've been keeping my circle dies and all my other sorts of dies, nesting dies in this folder. It's got, it's reinforced basically, it's got the four binding things. I will be doing a video on this as well. Um, which one should I go for? Ah, okay, let's see. see I, have, I have quite a few different circle dies. That one's a bit too big. This one will be a bit too small. I think this is our best bet here. That's maybe. I think I'm just going to go for this one. Okay. Again, you can do this from patterned paper as well. <clears throat> I have done that with a matching one at the bottom. Oh, there you go. You can see that it's upside down, but you've got a better view of that one. But I will make sure that there'll be photographs of this one in the, in this video too, just so you can get a nice look at that. Okay, so we have that now. So this will go inside your box. There we go, and there we have something really good there. Nice thing to keep your cupcake or muffin from rocking around. So that fits absolutely perfectly. There we go, that's what we don't want happening. Now I've got icing on the edge of my acetate window. Okay, oops, I didn't leave that to dry properly either because I'm just going through and getting things done. Okay, so let's grab some eggs. Okay, so this is one of those Easter egg hunt packs and there are some larger eggs in here too. The handle came off. Um, I did actually order a different pack but this one was substituted because I order and get my groceries delivered so I accepted the substitution. I thought, yep, that'll do. Okay, what have we got? This one is from Tesco. You got these. You can get a whole bunch of these in there if you take the, um, the insert out. And we have some hot, these are all hollow eggs. 
I love these Easter colours, but apparently there's some larger eggs at the bottom, so I just want to see if they're going to fit inside here. There we go. Let's have a look. I think this might be good. There we are. Got a nice, maybe use one of the smaller circles to keep that egg in and it will be absolutely fine. So um, this is the largest of the circles. I would use that circle there from, from the die set. That will be enough to hold an egg in the right place. But anyway, let's just stuff this full of Easter treats. See how many we can get in. Let's pop in a few of these sheep as well. Is it sheep? Uh, we've got a little chick there. I think maybe we'll get one more in. Let's try. Yes. There we go. So this box is absolutely perfect for any sorts of uh, treats there. I've got that stuffed full to the brim with lovely Easter treats, and we've just got to decorate that now for Easter or for a wedding, if you're having a wedding, these will make lovely personalised wedding favour gift boxes. Just give all your guests a cake, a nice little cupcake there. Put your initials or your wedding um, names and things on there. Decorate them how you wish into the, you know, the theme of your wedding and you are literally good to go. It's a very inexpensive way of doing your favourite boxes. Okay, so that is, what is this? Okay, so that is the Cupcake Gable Box. I absolutely love this one. If you end up making this one, I would love to see all of your ideas, um, photographs, share them with me. You can find me on Helen Griffin UK. And I also have a paper crafting group on Facebook called Paper Crafting with Helen Griffin. You can share all of your makes on there with me as well. And everyone else can see, everyone loves to see um, what other people have made as well, because it gives us so many ideas and I've had so many good ideas as well from seeing other people's ideas of the things that they've made with my set so I really absolutely love that group and if you have been contributing the last couple of months I really want to thank you guys because you have just like literally kept it going um, whilst I've been remote learning with my children so massive thumbs up to you guys okay so thank you very much for joining me today give me a thumbs up if you like this one and I'll see you again soon